United States of America and its citizens and our interests. But if you cared about your stock price, well, then it's not a fool's errand. This war would benefit two sets of people, actually three sets. Yes, no question. Oil companies would tremendously profit. Defense contractors would tremendously profit. You know that Halliburton, um, during the Iraq war, their stock price went up fivefold. You think it, that mission was not accomplished? You think the Iraq war was a mess and Bush and Cheney didn't get what they wanted? <laughs> Cheney got a $34 million exit bonus from Halliburton. When he left as the CEO of Halliburton, they handed him a $34 million check. And then he started a war where Halliburton's stock price went up fivefold. No, no, no. You don't understand when Bush landed on the aircraft carrier with the mission accomplished sign. He meant it. He's like, yes, for our donors, the mission is accomplished. And those are the third sets of people who would benefit. The people who get those donations. The incredibly corrupt politicians we have here in America. The whole system is based on corruption. They get campaign donations and then they do the bidding of those donors. This is not an accident. The whole point is to drive us to war for profit. You've got to change the system. Whether it's Wolfpack, and we believe that's the right answer. You got to get an amendment to get money out of politics. Otherwise, we're going to be in endless wars. Or you think it's some other organization. For Christ's sake, fight back. If you don't fight back, we'll be in a real war. And that's going to cost a lot more. Wolf-Pack.com, you've got to get money out of politics. If you don't, this corruption never ends and the wars never end.